hello everyone this is a quick fix solution today i want to show you how you can connect your azure devops account to azure active directory let's go ahead this is my azure devops account in, as you can see here i have already showcased you how you can um, start with azure devops account step by step and you can just see the previous uh, last videos which are already present and link is also available in, in the description of this video so if you click on your azure devops account here then you will see possibly your organization which are already created for example for me it is techweb org right and if you want to connect this azure devops account to uh, microsoft account subscription then you have to click on organization settings under that you will see we have an option of on the left side menu azure active directory and if you will click here then you will see there's an option for connect directory and if you click on this and after that if you will click on this available option so it will display all the available directories which are available in your microsoft subscription so you just select this default directory and click on connect so if you see such type of error your organization failed to connect to the default directory in azure active directory okay and uh, the user is a guest in the target aad tenant default directory so if you will search over the web so you will find many solution and most probably you will be redirected to this link this is a very famous one where steps are already predefined so there are some prerequisites if you have more than 100 members then you should contact the support and your role should be project collection administrator or on the organization owner at least in azure devops side or in azure active directory you should be as a member initially you will check yourself so you will be of uh, type of guest so you should change that to member so these are the very predefined steps that you can easily follow right but even after following everything and if you are not getting any solution so probably so what what is the possibility that the problem that you are facing will be the organization you created especially in your under microsoft account okay and because of that you will not be able to connect your azure active directory so to connect with that you have to change this microsoft account to default directory because if you will see in your azure active directory in your microsoft subscription account so that that is by default connected with default directory right so if you will change this directory here and then you have to recreate if you have used the same email id uh, on you know both side in the ado and in microsoft subscription as well and if you have created some organization and some project under this microsoft account so you have to recreate it this is what i found the solution so far if you have if you have any other better solution so you can just provide the link in the comment section so maybe even i can go through and i will also share that information with others so that will really solve your problem so let's go back to the presentation so we have seen the most a uh, common solution that generally beginners face when they use the same email id at both the places because when we are developing enterprise application then we create a separate tenant and separate directory that is uh, available for the users to connect in ado and we can also well managed through all the organized policy but this is for the very uh, you know special case when you are beginner and when you are using the same email id and you are just you know doing all your poc and all the stuff okay so we see if you are using the same email id in both the places and what you should not use your microsoft account but you should use the uh, default directory under azure devops and what links you should use you should go to this url and you have to change your microsoft account to default directory right that i have already shown you now hope you like this quick fix video thank you